Hey Fingsters, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install pip on Windows. So what exactly is pip? Pip is a package management tool in Python that allows us to install and manage external Python libraries and dependencies that are not a part of the standard Python library. Now just for your information, Python 2.7.9 and later and Python 3.4 and later are shipped with pip by default. That means if you are running these versions on your system, then you do not have to install pip manually. However, if you are running any other version of Python, then in that case, you might have to install pip externally. And this is what we are going to see in this tutorial. Now there are a couple of prerequisites before you can install pip on Windows. So let's quickly go ahead and have a look at these prerequisites so that we can move on to our next steps where we are going to see how to install pip in Windows. So the first prerequisite is that you must have Python installed on your system so that you can install pip. So how would you check whether Python is installed on your system or not? To do that, all you have to do is open up your command prompt. So how would you open your command prompt? Press the Windows and the R key on your keyboard. This opens up the run dialog box and type CMD in this box and press enter. That opens up the command prompt for you. And now simply go ahead and type Python and press enter. As soon as you do that, you can see that the Python terminal opens up and you can also see the version of Python installed on your system. So I'm using Python 3.8.5. Now to come out of this terminal, you can simply press Ctrl and Z on your keyboard, or you can also type exit, open and close parenthesis and press enter. So you are back to your command prompt. Now the next prerequisite is to check or verify if pip already exists on your system. So how would you do that? The simple procedure to do that is to simply type pip space help on your command prompt and press enter. And as you can see, if pip is pre-installed in your system, you will get a list of commands and general options with regards to pip. And that ensures that pip is already installed in your system. But what if you do not get these commands and instead of this, you get an error. So let me explain that to you. Let us close our command prompt. Now just a disclaimer here. I have purposely uninstalled pip from my system so that I can explain you the next steps. So in order to install pip on Windows, your first task is to go ahead and open up command prompt in the administrator mode. So how are you going to do that? If you are using Windows 10, go ahead and search command prompt, right click on the command prompt option and select run as administrator. And this opens up command prompt in the administrator mode for you. Now let's check once again if we have pip installed in our system. So to do that, we are using the command pip help. And now as you can see, it says pip is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. Now this is because I have uninstalled pip from my system. So this means we can go ahead and install pip and visualize how this works. So your first step should be to go ahead and download pip on your system. And how are you going to do that? I'll provide the link from where you can download the file which will help you to install pip. Now if you are watching this video on the article itself, then the link is provided in the article itself and you can go ahead and download the file from the link in the article. However, if you are watching it on YouTube, then I'll provide the link to this file in the description. So let's open up the file that we need to download in order to install pip on our windows. So this is the file that we need. So right click, save as, and let's save the file and click on save. Okay, the file has been saved. Let me cross check if this file was properly saved. Yeah, I have properly saved the file. Now let's open up our command prompt once again and follow the next steps that will help us to install pip. So the next step is to install pip using 
the following command as of now you are in your system 32 folder so you have to open up the folder where you saved the file which will help you to install pip i saved the file on desktop now how do i find the path simply right click on your file explorer right click on desktop go to properties now move on to location and there we go we have the location that we need now it might happen that you have saved this file in a different location for example in your downloads folder no issues you can go on to that folder extract the path of that folder and then come back to your command prompt now how can you navigate to that folder where you saved your file which will help you to install pip simply use the cd command and then paste the location of that folder and press enter and now you have successfully moved inside the folder which contains this file now the command that is going to help me to install pip is python then the name of the file that's it so let me copy this and let's execute this command on our command prompt and then let's press enter and as you can see the download has started this might take some time depending upon the speed of your internet and once done it will notify you that pip was successfully installed on your system now let's go ahead and check if this was properly installed on our system and what's the command to do that you remember yes it's pip help and as soon as i hit enter i see that pip was successfully installed in my system once again now you can also check the version of pip that was installed in your system using the following command pip and then version and press enter so that's the version of pip installed on my system pip 21 now many of you might face few problems even after installing pip successfully on your system this is because the environment variable has not been successfully configured even though pip was successfully installed so in order to rectify that you have to follow another set of steps which is quite simple so i'll quickly go ahead and show you how you can do that let us close our command prompt how would you get the path where pip was installed on windows now do not worry once you install pip the path will be displayed on the command prompt itself if it was not added to the environment variable in my case pip was installed in the following path so this is where pip was installed now i'll copy this path and now i'll open up control panel select system and security select system select advanced system settings select environment variables and now you can see that within the system variables option you have the path variables so click on new and then paste the path that you copied as you can see that i have already added the path previously so i do not need to add it once again and then go ahead and click on ok ok once again and ok once you have followed all these steps i am quite sure that pip will be properly installed in your windows system now if for some reason you want to upgrade your pip then i have also provided the commands to do so as of now i'm not going to execute these commands because i'm already running the latest version of pip in my system in case you want to upgrade it you can use this command and if in case you are facing some problems and you want to downgrade your pip in that case you can use the command as you can see on the screen do not worry i'll provide the link to this article in the description below please go ahead and read this article which will help you to install pip on your windows system now before we wrap up this video let us quickly go ahead and install an external library using pip and verify if pip is working properly on our system so let us try and install scipy in our system using pip so we have our command prompt and let's type pip install scipy and let's press enter and there we go the download has begun and scipy will be installed in our system now i'll let scipy get installed in my system and i'll minimize my command prompt 
with that we come to the end of this lecture i hope you learned something from it and if you face any problem or if you have any doubt please mention them in the comments below thank you